Hi folks, my name is Fred. Welcome to my shop. This is an internet image of a Goodell and Pratt treadle wood lathe from 1888, making it 185 years old. Uh, you can see that the casting on the side had the GP for Goodell Pratt. And I'm sure it was used for making small spindles and such for Victorian houses. Kind of neat. Here is an image of the lathe that my neighbor gave me after I did some improvements to it. He no longer wanted it and asked me if I would want it to try to restore. And I said, sure, why not? Let's give it a, let's give it a go. It's a relatively small lathe. It's about 18 inches in length. Um, it has bronze bearings powered by a little half horse GE motor. It was initially belt driven and uh, somebody put a groove in it, flat belt driven, and somebody put a groove in it for a V belt. Had a broken tool rest, which we had to address. So I thought I'd make a board and put it on, put it on and mount it. First thing I had to do is flatten the casting. Casting uh, was warped. So I used a belt sander with 80 grit sandpaper to flatten the bottom, got it flat, and then it was able to mount it to the board successfully. This is a picture of the really cool badge. Uh, I had to restore that and that was fun. Put some painter's tape around it and then used some brass polish and it came out absolutely beautiful. This was a uh, a mild restoration. I didn't go nuts with painting. Here I remounted the, uh, you can see the board that I had, I remounted the motor on a pair of hinges and the weight of the motor is what keeps the belt tension on. This was kind of interesting. The These are the brushes for the motor and what I'm holding in my hand is the caps and those were live with electricity when it was in operation. So I made a couple little caps out of wood to put over the top of it to protect it. Here's what it looks like after I did that. Then I needed to uh, mount the switch. So I located a hole, lo located a position, put a hole in it. Then I got out my hole saw set, picked the appropriate size uh, hole saw. And I started drilling a hole from the top. Tip here, when you're drilling through uh, wood to not splinter it out, drill half a hole halfway through from the top, go under from the bottom and then finish it from the bottom. What that does is keeps it from splintering it out. And here I show that process. After I had the hole, I needed to uh, mount the switch, create a little brass plate, screwed it into the hole then wired it with some strain relief, the power cord. Then I needed to lead the motor wires down to the switch. So I put a hole through the, the base, created a little furl, a little brass furl, put it in there to dress it up a bit. That, that completed the, the motor section of it. This is, uh, if you look near the spindles, you can see that there's two places where oil cups should be. Made a couple of uh, oil cups. These are the wick type. Uh, they have a little wick, little wick that wicks the oil down through the center hole and, and meters how much oil goes down in. Then we had to repair the, the tool rest. This was cast iron. I needed to recreate the other side. So I made a pattern of the, the side that still had the good profile on it. And then we folded the paper in half and used a pair of scissors to cut out like paper doll. And I had the, the template of what I wanted the rest to look like used a four and a half inch angle grinder to cut off the the remaining tool rest, ground it, 
to receive the new tool rest that I had to make. This is a uh, piece of uh, bed frame. It's hard steel. And I used that for the, uh, the rest. Used a, a small grinder to grind out the, the profile of the part. And then shaped it. And then brazed the, the new rest into the post. That's what it looked like after it had been cooled in a blanket to keep it from cracking. Little, little, little filing to bring it into profile what I wanted it to look like. And installed it on the lathe. That's pretty much the final project. We're going to fire it up here. It's a fun project. It really was. I love these these sympathetic restorations. Runs really well, smooth, relatively quiet. It'll be a good first lathe for somebody. It's a very satisfying feeling to be able to bring a 180-year-old plus machine back to operating condition. Thanks for watching and have a great day.